so I'm coming back with another video and it is going to be about my favorite shampoos, I guess, cleansers. First, let's get some house cleaning items out of the way. Yes, this wash day is gonna be tomorrow, okay? So don't come for my hair. I know it's like all over the place. This is a seven day old braid out. So, yeah. So I got all my Halloween shirts. Happy Halloween. Let me know what you guys are gonna be dressed up as for Halloween, if you celebrate Halloween. Um, let me know what your costumes are gonna be, girl. Also, it is flu shot season. I got my flu shot, hold on. I got my flu shot, so get your flu shot, sis. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so every time I wanna say first things first, I'm like, how can you not finish a line? I papas, freaks, all the honeys, dummies, playboy bunnies, those what but. So this is not gonna be in any particular order. I'm literally just gonna talk about products that I like. Okay. Miel Organics, this is the pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling shampoo. I've talked about this recently because it just came out about what, two months ago? I really like this shampoo. I feel the moisture in it. My hair likes it. I can actually detangle with it. So many people hate this shampoo, but I, I'm one of those that actually likes it. Um, so yeah, I don't have any issues with the pump. The lather is good. The smell is good. I, I don't have any issues with it. I like it. Dr. Bronner's Faithful User. Now there are only certain ones that I will use though. So I will use the lavender, I will use the peppermint. Um, there's also a almond that's in like a brown bottle and then the tea tree that's in the green bottle. Those are the only ones that I use on my hair because they don't strip my hair. They actually give me moisture at the same time as cleansing my hair. So I actually use these a lot. I don't, I don't know how crazy this is gonna sound, but shampoos to me are just not... I, I, just, I don't care that much about a shampoo. Like, I don't want it to strip my hair and leave it like scarecrow, but I... I feel like you can honestly. I know, Coco. It's like somebody is trying to hang a picture or something and they're just like pounding on the wall. I, boy, I know. My Coco don't play. I'm not really that particular about shampoos, is what I was trying to say. You can really find a cheap shampoo that works, that is moisturizing as well as cleaning your hair. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And as naturals, nine times out of 10, we're gonna keep a shampoo bottle for a very long time. So you don't have to spend that much money to find a good shampoo. Like, you just really don't. So these are inexpensive. The smaller bottles, I wanna say, are $6.99 or $7.99. Um, I think these go up to 14. 16 fluid ounce, this is the eight fluid ounce. And then they have a 32 fluid ounce, which I never buy, cause child, I'm okay with this size. Speaking of cheapies, this is one of them. This is the Suave Professionals, and this is the Almond and Shea Butter. I know y'all hear me talk about this so much because the shampoo and the conditioner is just, it is so good. Like, and these are cheap, I mean, I'm talking, what, $2.99, $3.99, and this is 18.1 fluid ounces. Normally around the holidays or when they do like their super saver, like at Target, you can find them packaged like in two. Like you can either get a shampoo and a conditioner or two shampoos for like $5.99, and it'll be the real bigger bottles, like the 32 fluid ounce. And I love, like I will, I pick this up every single time that I see it on sale because I just know Hey, if I don't have any shampoo around, this is gonna do the job. I love it, it's moisturizing, it cleans my hair. I literally have no problems with this shampoo. Like, I, this is old faithful. This is, I've been rocking with this shampoo for years. Like, I 
love it so another new one well fairly new I guess like the end of the summer that came out was the African pride and this is the moisture miracle honey and coconut oil nourish and shine shampoo love it don't have that much left in here <laughs> I have to go pick up another one but I like it it is super super moisturizing to me I can detangle with it it cleans my hair like I have this actually lathers a lot which I know a lot of people love that but I'm just like eh. I like a little lather I don't like a ton of lather I, I just don't but this is so good I stand for it I, I have no issues with it this is my second bottle I believe so yeah I really really love it this is another Miel product and this is the Babasu conditioning shampoo um is this for dry and curly hair types I so like I said earlier I'm not really particular on shampoos however this one I don't know is like hit or miss for me I feel like if my hair is like really really dry uh, uh but if my hair just has like a hint of moisture I feel like it works I don't not too sure what that's about but so I don't reach for this as often but it's not a bad shampoo however I think that this is $12.99 so $12.99 versus $6.99 versus $2.99. Mm. I, I probably wouldn't purchase this again, but it's not a bad shampoo. So I still wanted to mention it for those that are experimenting and trying different products. It's not bad. I ju I'm just not going to buy it again, but you know, try it. Let me know how you like it. Here is another one that is on that same train. This is the Camille Rose Sulfate Free Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with castor and aniseed oil. Shine, you know, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it, but again, this is, this is on the pricey side. So it's like, and this is only 12 fluid ounces. So do I wanna spend, I'm assuming, by Camille Rose's prices, this is probably the same as the Miel, maybe like $12.99, may even be a little $14.99. I will double check that for you, but it's nice, it gets the job done. But there are cheaper shampoos that can also get the job done. Like, if you find this at like a hair show, you know, what I'm saying a little cute, maybe $10, sure, but outside of that, I just I probably wouldn't I don't even know what I'm saying this is supposed to be the shampoos that I like I do like it okay I'm just saying there are cheaper alternatives than to buy something on a pricier side but if you wanted to experiment just like the Miel it's still a good cleanser I know a lot of people that swear by this cleanser um so it's not bad it's just is one that I don't really see anybody talking about that I really really like like I really like this cleanser this is the cleansing pudding it's a sulfate free moisturizing cleanser and it's by as I am I like it um I, I have nothing negative to say about this it gets the job done it's cleansing the only issue that I think I had with this product is when it says cleansing pudding, it really is kind of like a pudding, so it throws you off a little bit. Um, but outside of that, I really enjoy this product. I have no issues with it. I would buy it again. I've had this one for a while. It's a 16 fluid ounces. I think I got it. Um, you know how Sally's does their buy one, get one free. I don't know why I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but I like it. I'm gonna say on the As I Am and the Coconut Co-Wash, hands down, is the best co-wash ever created on the market is the as i am coconut co-wash you can fight me about it you know i'm a little too old to be fighting but th this is the best this is the best now i was watching i think oh my gosh what is her name kimberly Sherell. i don't want to butcher it but i think that's her name and she was also saying that she really liked this product however she didn't like it when she was transitioning 
So I guess that's something to keep in mind. I never transitioned, so I can't give you any feedback on that, but this is literally the best freaking co-wash out there. I, oh my God. Oh. The other one that I don't have on me is my Shea Moisture and it is the Manuka Honey. The Manuka Honey. Y'all know how I feel about that entire line. It is so good. I have not bought it in a while because clearly I still have products that I need to go through before I need to buy other products. I mean, I only got but so much space. So yeah, but I love the Manuka Honey Shampoo. It is just... I think that is my favorite line from Shea Moisture. This is also something that I use, which is apple cider vinegar and water. Um, that's all that I put in this. And I will spray my scalp before I get into the shower. Um, I normally only use this when I have braids in my hair. I've tried dry shampoo and I feel <laughs> cleans your scalp without leaving the apple cider vinegar smell you can put oils in here you know that has like some type of fragrance if you're really nervous about the smell because apple cider vinegar is strong but I I love this little concoction I normally only use that when I have braids but this is the apple cider vinegar that I use it's so funny when people say, get the apple cider vinegar with the mother. And I'm like, it's mother. But whatever. Get the Braggs. Back in the day, you can only find this at like your local Whole Foods or all natural store. Now you can find this anywhere. You can find this at your ghetto supermarket. You can find this in Target. You can find this at Walmart now, like any where also if i am going to do like a mask i will use the aztec indian healing clay i'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of this i use this on my hair and actually on my face and it's the same mixture i, I i'm not good on measurements so you kind of just gotta mix it together until you get like a clay like um consistency and then put it in your hair put it on your face I love it on both. For my hair, it's almost like if my hair is feeling like really, really dry and just my styles are not coming out correctly, I will put this mask on my hair. I normally leave it in for like an hour or two. Some people do 15 minutes, some people do 30, 45. <sighs> yeah, I get a little late. Once I put that plastic cap on and I take a nap, oh, it's a wrap. It's really good, I love it. So I think that's it you guys. That's all I have. Those are my ultimate favorite shampoos that I have tried that I love. Um, yo, people are walking their dogs now with like full, you know what's so funny? When someone walks their dog and their dog is like dragging them and pulls them, I think it is so hilarious. And my dog did the same thing to me. And I'm like, girl. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.